This is Breaking Down the Build, Episode 4 with Bumpa. In this episode, we're going to be going over a build fight that I had during solo snipes in the r slash Fortnite competitive community Discord. Uh, it's a great way to practice. They host awesome solo snipes. Definitely get in on this, guys, if you haven't already. It's a great way to improve. Anyway, let's get into this. Uh, I see my opponent building around. Uh, as soon as he's in view, going for shotgun damage. Two quick shotgun shots with attack in the heavy. And immediately, you saw I built walls to block potential damage that he was going to send back my way. And I start the build fight by going straight up with wall, wall, floor, ramp. And now we're just following him through his tunnel strat. I'm just keeping up with him, making sure I stay above him at all times. As soon as I get to here, I try and, I try and floor him off and get him underneath the floor. But I misjudged how quickly he was going to go, and he was able to jump through my floor and place a wall down and 180 spin and get above me. So now I have to initiate the counterplay to regain high ground. I go up trying to see if I can like match him. He's still faster than me slightly, so I need to get up and I need to go off to the side in order to take high ground. Ramp, spin. You'll notice I only did one ramp there because... Uh, if I do any more than one ramp without a tunnel, then he has the easy chance to shoot me in the back. He probably should have been looking for damage there, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, I immediately do one ramp, spin, and we continue, and I'm able to take high ground from him. I get above him, and I place floors on top of him so that I can try and trap him in a box and edit down on him. Right there, I tried to wall to ramp so that I could match on top of his ramps, but I sort of fumbled my binds and didn't get above him. So we tunnel strat out and away immediately. Notice it took me no time at all to react to that. And uh, you gotta be quick with your decision making in build battles. That's because anybody can build quickly, but not a lot of people can make their decisions quickly. And that just comes with experience. So we get above him. I throw a wall out to the left to try and block him off. I sort of hit myself with the floor there, mess up my own flow. He jumps around to the side, we get some damage. I probably should have ramped on my floor here to stay above him. Instead I went for the cheeky aggressive play where I was going to try and like shoot him before he got this wall down, but it didn't work for me. So I end up having to catch myself with the floor and go back off to the side. Actually no, we edit through the ramp, or edit through the floor. After that shot, though, I realize how low that I've gotten this player because I've put at least three shotgun shots into him, so I'm dropping and trying to quickly end this fight and get down before we get shot out. Follow him through. I see where he went. I'm just going to break this out so that I can build my own ramp. As soon as I get to here, I realize that was probably a mistake, but whatever. Edit out. Wall there so that he can't peek over the top and shoot me, but as it turns out, he was popping a mini. So he wouldn't have shot me anyway, but just to be safe, I threw that wall up so that if he did decide to peek over the edge, he wouldn't have been able to shoot me. We're following him up. I'm not really structuring right now just because I'm trying to get up quickly and take high ground. And right here, as we talked about earlier, where I said I only did one ramp before spinning, you see how he got punished for doing this. He went two ramps out before spinning, and I'm on top of him, and I'm looking for damage immediately. And he gets punished for not for not cutting that shorter and doing his spin. So I'm above him. He drops. I think he fumbled his ramp there. And he goes for two ramps to try and get back above high ground. But he should have just done one, spun, put up his walls, and tried to counter build again. Anyway, that is the fight from my perspective. Uh, let's see it from his. All right, let's watch this fight back from Colin's perspective. He's sort of doing this weird thing where he's sort of like blocking off the mountain. Right there, he gets shot. He does a good job of getting his walls up. Uh, he doesn't really put it to his right because he didn't know the angle he was getting shot at, and I can't really blame him. Uh, but he takes some damage there, unfortunately, and now he's at a severe disadvantage. Uh, quick note here. Doing tunnel strat with the metal with metal is probably not the best idea, and I should have probably spammed him out. I would have had a much easier time in this fight, and this fight could have been way over or er, over way sooner had I spammed out his ramps 
because as we all know metal has the least amount of health okay i just gotta follow off stream uh thank you rectum lord <laughs> anyways uh let's continue on so i should have shot him out he goes way too far with the tunnel strat i really should have shot him out this is more on me than it is on him uh but he turns around he does his thing goes off to the side putting a floor there was kind of risky because of the ability to get boxed and going off to the side but that's kind of a common play and he was fast enough that he didn't get punched for it so i'm gonna take that back that was a good that was a good play he spins he gets above me goes off to the side he's doing a good job of doing his 180s and spinning but that accidental turbo build ramp that i put down bit him in the ass and he got pushed off because of it so now he's got to take high ground a different way He's doing a good job of finding his turtle or his tunnels. Like he's doing a good, good job of like finding how he can tunnel strat and making sure that he's doing it whenever possible. Uh, unfortunately, got stuck underneath his ramp there. Probably fat fingered a little bit. Happens to the best of us. Uh, but now he sees me right here, and honestly, he can take shots at me. He's got an open opportunity to take shots at me, but instead he's like building up. He probably could have like. Hit me in the back with a heavy or shot or spam me with an AR a couple times, force me into an uncomfortable situation. Uh, and he keeps getting stuck underneath his ramps, so just a couple mechanical mistakes in this fight in general. He tries to edit through. I'm quick enough to put the ramp over top of him. And right there. He knows he's exposed. He needs to do he needs to probably tur he needs to probably box himself in there. When he drops like that, he needs to probably box himself in, get his bearings, see where I'm at, instead of immediately just going on to the next area. Because he gives me an easy opportunity to shoot him in the back for a bunch of damage, and he didn't really take too much high ground, because he was already working from way lower, because he dropped. So he should have turtled, realized where I was, and then maybe broke out one of the sides of his box, or the top of his box, and continue the fight after that. If you lose your bearings in a fight, generally you should turtle. Because that way you give yourself a chance to reset. Your opponent gets annoyed because you aren't fighting him anymore. So he maybe will give up high ground uh, willingly, etc., etc. Uh, it's extremely annoying to play against. But this is me trying to teach you how to get better at the game. So I can't not, I can't ignore the fact that turtling is really good. All right, let's continue. He drops ramps. He does a good job right here, and he finds another tunnel. This guy's doing a really good job of finding his tunnels. He takes high ground. This is where I'm spamming through. He probably should have gotten the minis off sooner. But, eh. Not much he could do. He gets stuck underneath his ramp there, which is sort of the story of this fight. And again, again, he, he ramps too far without cover, and he ends up getting punished for it. Uh, so basically things that we've learned from this video uh don't ramp off too far unless you have a tunnel if you are going to tunnel don't use metal if you're going to go a really long distance i should have punished him for that that's my mistake and uh just practice that practice that 180 a lot so that you don't get stuck underneath your ramps that that 180 i've touched this before but that 180 is extremely important in build fights and is extremely crucial in taking high ground and controlling it all right I'm gonna play the uh, I'm gonna play the end fight, or I'm gonna play the fight at full speed from my viewpoint from my stream. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe. If you guys want to watch me live, you can watch me at Twitch.tv/bumpa. And if you want to stay up to date on when I'm going live and when my videos are up, you can follow me on Twitter at ttvbumpa. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and have a good one, boys. God damn it.
fight, Colin.